have a body. It's a Monday and I don't know if you could hear me right now. It's a big rainy day. I got out and this is my little OTD, but it's like boring right now. Ooh, my skin looks glowy, but I'm about to head over to a facials place. Um, I've been wanting to get facials for quite a while, but I never just had the chance. So today, like, I actually did act upon it, and um, I might go and talk with the people and try things out. So here we go. Oh my god, look how heavy the rain is. I sincerely wanted to change my appointment, but unfortunately, um, the only time that we could make this work was today. And so, uh, I'm just gonna have to go through this rain. And um, it's not easy, but we're gonna make it work. I just came into Randy's to have a quick lunch and I picked up some donuts. I'm so excited to try out all of them. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish. I got four, so I'm going to take them home and I'll share it with the family. Look at these, they look so delish. Mm. Got myself a hot latte as well. up my camera was excuse me um when i went to karosuke for skin like the facials and everything on the day when i went there i um had a talk with the specialist i booked a date i thought i was getting my first facials that day it happens that um, it's only possible for me to get my facials in December since November's already fully booked. And then I also popped into Apple Store because my phone, my original phone, which was a 12 Pro, had issues with the speaker and I was okay, like I was living with it. I knew it was, it had problems, but I just, I'm lazy in those aspects so I just 
went with it but it was to an extent where I felt like I did need to address the issue because whenever I had phone calls or anything um, the person I was calling would always have a hard time hearing what I'm actually saying so right now I've got a iPhone XR while my phone, my original phone is gonna get fixed. I don't know what they're actually gonna do. They said something about changing the main board or whatever, but I don't know how that's gonna happen. But anyways, that's that. Today is 11th of November and um, my boyfriend decided to get me new pyjamas instead of getting new pepperos because it's a pepperos day in Korea. I don't really like pepperos but I do love Christmas pyjamas and I am already feeling pretty festive although I did not put that away. Um, so I've got two pairs. The first one is actually this one. It's the Tom and Jerry one I got in a size medium only because that was the only size available. Hopefully it's not going to be too big but I know this is not like as festive but I thought it was like a really cute pyjama, cute loungewear and with the matching pants. I thought they were really really cute and so I picked those up and the other item is I love how H&M does their like really cute festive pajamas every year. The other one is even cuter. I got this onesie. Is it this so elf I uh, like this reminded me of Elf. It's one of my favourite films. Um it's like an elf outfit. It's perfect for Christmas. I might even wear it on Christmas Day. But it's just so cute. I got it in a size small. Hopefully it fits. I'm going to actually wear this one today. So I'm going to let you know how it fits or how it feels. But now I'm going to take a shower. My mom's ill today. I had to take care of her. I had to take care of the dog as well. And so now... It's finally my turn to take a shower, so that's what I'm going to do and put this one on. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm already so, so hyped up about this Christmas. I'm feeling festive. <sighs> Excited. How cute is this? just finished washing my face, brushing my teeth and all that. I've had a really lazy day, like really lazy morning. I just felt like snuggling in bed with the dog and now I do need to get ready because I'm going to go head out and finally go and get a physical version of my driver's license. I passed all the exams but I never went and got my license itself and so that's what I'm going to do today. And then I also have a birthday party to attend. Um, it's my one of my best friend's birthdays so we're going to go to Abkodang Rodeo 
and have some wine, enjoy the Friday evening with some wine, with some birthday cakes and a really nice meal. We have not decided on the details but hopefully it's gonna work out by the time we meet. Before I meet her I also need to go um, grab her gift which I have already booked. Um, yeah, I also need to pick up her cake on the way as well. I have not booked her cake because I did not have the idea of getting a cake until really late last night and it was practically impossible for me to get like book for a cake at that point so I'm gonna have to go look around today see if any of the stores have available cakes I mean it's just gonna be the two of us probably so I'm gonna have to see if they have any cakes left even if it's like a slice of cake I think that would work perfectly because it's just gonna be the two of us I might get some props if necessary but as of now I don't really have a lot planned um, but I am quite excited and plus about this freaking amazing pyjama I'm loving it absolutely it feels so comfortable it's so nice to sleep in um of course because it's a onesie it's probably not the best to go pee in because you basically have to get everything off and then put it back on but it's still so freaking cute that i could live with the fact but anyways <laughs> enough of the rambling i'm gonna get ready and catch up with you pretty soon. I'm gonna be fully done with my makeup and my hair. I'm loving the glow, I'm loving the look, and I wanted to show you the dress that I have on. Um, bear in mind that my room is quite a mess, but look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? Um, it's such a beautiful evening dress. I got it after watching Susie Bernaldi's YouTube video and she does a lot of like beauty fashion hauls which I absolutely love. I love that outfit. And then I'm gonna pop a blazer on top so that it's not too much in public. You know the detailing is I'm just gonna pop out when I have some like you know it's just going to show here and there like when I move when I walk around it's probably going to be super cold at night so I am going to put on another layer of clothing on top but yeah that's my look today stunning and now I'm going to get back to you when I actually do head out which should 
in like in around five minutes <laughs> so I'm gonna finish getting ready put on some perfume and of course for these occasions I'm gonna pair my favorite favorite Clean Dior I've already used quite a lot after getting it I've been using it every single day I just love it, it smells so divine I'm going to accessorise myself a bit more as well. I'm going to put on some rings, some earrings, perhaps, and I'll get back to you when I'm fully, fully done. Okay, so there's the dress, my blazer, and my big jumper for the cold. I've got to throw away these boxes. But I'm quite happy with how today and how my look turned out. I look quite chic, appropriate for the occasion, a bit showy, but still trying to stay warm. Okay, I'm here to pick my friend's gift up. I know it's terrible lighting, but it's the best I could get. And I end up here without a driver's license. Why? Because I forgot to bring with me the certificate that tells me that I passed all the exams and is eligible for getting a driver's license. So then I went all the way there where I took the Britain exam without a certificate. breakfast had some ice cream i had a take out of those gelatos from last night because they're seriously like the best gelato i've ever had it's not too sweet it's just that right amount of like consistency and chewiness and stickiness and yes i'm back in my elf pajamas and yes my stomach's probably bloated right now but i'm on my bed again with this little baby and look at his blanket it's just so cute well he's cute so <laughs> we're like both in costumes and i'm just gonna stay in bed for a bit more I've got nothing special going on today except for I'm going to be meeting my friends from uni for dinner and um, that's hours from now so I'm just going to enjoy my Saturday morning with this little one. Seriously, my dad got me coffee and... Coffee in beds was amazing. This, everyone, is a reality. Boy, 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 boy. Oh. Do you see him? This is what happens on weekends. I wanted to. Stay in bed, mingle in bed, 
watch some Netflix, but you basically can't if you have a dog because you have to dog sit him and play with him whenever he wants. Because otherwise he's gonna call you no matter what, doesn't even care what you're doing, he's just gonna call you. So you basically need to be with him lay with him, feed him, give him snacks and clean up his nappies. Yay! Yay! Am I going mad? Probably. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. He is cute though. I do need to get up and get ready. Um, I've heard that my phone is actually done and it is ready for me to pick up at the Apple store in Karoske. So I will be stopping by before I meet my friends at six. But I'm just feeling really lazy today. I don't think I've done anything productive. But it's a Saturday, so am I supposed to be doing something productive? I don't think so. I finally got out of my elf pyjamas. As much as I left them, I had to get out, um, get my phone back. And so now I'm on my way to get on the subway to get to Shinza, pick that up and then go to Songsu to meet my friends. Outfit of the day, I'm going all comfied up, even though I did put on makeup. Okay, hello everybody, and um, I don't know, I just got off work. I had my workout today, so please excuse me if I'm not looking as organized as I would have like to i really loved my outfit at the beginning of today though um i put on this polar neck t-shirt which in the oatmeal color and i paired it with a pair of dress pants and put on another shade of oatmeal coat and i just really like the overall look today i looked pretty professional and pretty good in the morning i really liked it and even like the way i tied my hair and put on a hairband to zhuzh it up and all that i really really loved but anyways like i'm not gonna take off my coat just because i'm gonna have to head out pretty soon anyways to walk the dog walk the dog the day has gotten a lot shorter meaning that it's probably winter now um it's mid-november so it's probably it is winter and yeah well okay so i popped on the camera because i figured that i ended off my weekend at a very odd spot where I told you guys that I was going to the Apple store in Kaurusuke and then I never really ended the vlog and did not tell you guys like what happened afterwards like what happened with my phone and all that so I just quickly wanted to share that and the vlog and you know just <laughs> clear things up so as I have mentioned is he busy? Yeah, he's just gonna keep on walking around so if you hear some of those like little walking noises please excuse that um yeah i'm gonna keep on losing where i left off pretty distracted so with my phone i have already mentioned that it had problems with the speaker and whenever i was calling someone it just gave me like a very weird noise 
well it was just it was just not in the best condition and whenever I was like watching videos on my phone I would hear these like tsh -tsh noises and well I could live with it but I mean after paying a significant amount of money for this phone I figured that I should just go and check it out get it fixed and that's what I did I went into Apple store I tendered my phone so that they could take a look fix it and in the meanwhile I was given a phone from them to use so on Saturday I went into Apple store to return that phone and get my phone back and my appointment to meet my friends was at 6 p.m. and the time I stepped into the Apple store was approximately like 4.50. Yeah, it was not even 5 yet. And what they told me was I'm going to go in, get my phone, return that phone, check that nothing's broken and I would be free to go and so that's why I planned the day in that time manner like with that timeline I didn't expect it to take that long they took me to be seated and then it took them approximately like 20 minutes for one of the experts to approach me and by that point I was pretty annoyed because I did make an appointment I was meant to go and get my phone back, return my phone and I had to go and in my head I was planning on leaving that store at around like 5.30 so that I would not be late for my appointment with my friends but they came to me at around 5.20 and then this lady she gave me a piece of paper that told me exactly what has been done to my phone and I could see that she was pretty annoyed already because the store was like pretty crowded she had a lot in hand she had to take care of a lot of people and so i understood her not being as nice as she probably would have been if the store was not as busy however she just basically gave me a piece of paper told me that it was fixed um everything except the display has been changed and so i was like okay so is my phone okay so are the problems fixed and then she told me that she doesn't know first of all I've waited 20-30 minutes for you to come to me and second I've given you my phone for a week to get it fixed and you told me that you would get it fixed but then you're not sure if it's fixed like in my head I could not put that together and then like she went on and said the same thing again she told me that the main board they changed the back part they changed everything except for the display but I mean like the initial problem that I had with my phone was regarding the speaker so did you test it out did you change it like I wanted more explanation but then she 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 was just like I don't know and so I was like okay and you know like I had the f the iPhone XR that they lended me while they were fixing my phone and I took photos on that phone as well so I asked her if there was a way for me to move those photos from that phone to my original phone like when I asked her that she was like do you need more time and I'm just like what do I need more time to do what? Like what am I like what am I supposed to do? Like how am I supposed to back those photos up? And so then I asked her like if there was a way to back those photos up. They were like only like 20 pieces 20 photos. So I sent them to my cacao talk. And then I asked her if it was done and then she was like I don't really have that much time for you. And I was like at the do you think that I have so much time? You know, I just got like really, really annoyed. I know I'm rambling, I don't know if any of this makes sense, but at that point I wanted to leave and I was really hungry and I was just like so, so, so frustrated that 
she doesn't even like one she does she doesn't give me a solution as to how i'm supposed to transfer those photos from that phone to this phone second they made me wait 30 20 30 minutes and three and the main reason she doesn't even know whether my phone is fixed or not like if it's not fixed what am i supposed to do you know i've given you my time i've visited apple store three times and so anyways i know it's probably not her fault i'm not trying to point fingers at anyone but i just wish that my visit to the apple store would have been as pleasant as my previous visits because my previous visits were really nice i had no problem talking to the people um they helped me out really well they were really nice and all that so i don't know what happened this time maybe it was just because it was a saturday it was busy and all that but i don't know and also when i got my phone the battery level was at 20 percent and i had a whole night ahead of me and at that point i was even annoyed at that and so then i had to ask them for a charger and charge it there and i was already late for my appointment with my friends and it was just chaotic and then i just had to leave without having the time and energy to check whether my phone was actually fixed and as far as my problems i think that it has been fixed well when i call people i think it's a lot better but I, again i'm not too sure at this point because i'm not on the phone all the time so but when i'm watching videos it still i think is not as clear as it should be the sound but i think with that experience i've decided to just live with it and if i get super super annoyed i should just change my phone instead of trying to fix this one and live with this one but anyways that was my weekend thank you for watching thank you for listening to my long well a mini complaining portion and i just really hope that you guys are doing well it's getting really cold i hope you guys are staying warm and healthy and i'll meet you pretty soon bye